to collect information about the hardware configuration of client devices or to see what all applications are present through MECM console, it's important that we enable and configure hardware inventory. In this particular video, we are going to see how we can enable and configure hardware inventory. Also, if there are multiple hardware inventory settings done, how to check which particular setting is applied, how to review the settings that are applied through hardware inventory on SQL and more about reporting, what all options in reporting are present. So before moving forward, if you are new to this particular channel or yet to subscribe, then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. This is your host Yagnesh Malavia welcoming you in this particular video. First thing that we will see is what is the current setting. For that we will go to administrations pane, client setting and default client setting. We will go to properties and in this hardware inventory. So hardware inventory is already enabled. It's enabled by default and hardware inventory schedule is occurs every seven days. So a sync will happen every seven days with a maximum random delay is of 240 minutes and maximum custom MI file size is of 250 KB. So most important thing over here is our classes, hardware inventory classes. So let's see what current classes are already enabled for that we will go to set classes and here we are seeing few of the tick marks. It means that these options are already enabled and this particular hardware inventory information we will be able to see it in the resource explorer. So let's take an example. I will enter one class which is logical disk. Yeah, so let's see what options are there within logical disk. It's device ID, availability, caption, compress, description, drive type, file system, free space, name. So let me take a note of it by taking a snapshot. Yeah, so now let's go to resource explorer. For that, I will go to asset and compliance and devices. Let me take example of FCCL01. First, let me see the client setting. So default client setting is already applied. Now we'll go to start resource explorer, hardware and logical disk. We are able to see it on the front screen. However, the other alternate option we can do is by using filter. So if I enter logical, I will get logical disk, double click and we will see device ID caption. So let's compare. Let me expand device ID caption compressed. And if you see the device ID is there, then caption is there, compress is there, description is there. So this options which we had a tick mark, we are able to see it over here. So the options which are not having a tick mark, you will understand that why that is not visible because it's not captured. Now let's see the same thing in the SQL. For that, I will go to views, right click, filter, and I will use a filter setting name as logical disk. I will enter. So I'm just typing logical. Okay. So I will get a couple of tables. So let me run by using select top 1000 rows. As you see, I'm seeing information with the resource ID and few more information so let's see the data which was available in resource explorer which is caption description then it's free space so almost similar information that we have captured over here is available in sql also so that is a current setting now let's see another class name which is not having a tick mark how it looks like in the SQL as well as Resource Explorer. So let's go to client setting and check for another option. Hardware inventory, set classes, and let me check for boot configuration. So this particular boot configuration, tick mark is not there. Neither we are seeing any subcomponents having a tick mark. So let's see 
what we are able to see it in the resource explorer for that i will cancel this particular page go to asset and compliance on this particular device start resource explorer hardware so we will search for boot which is not present now i will go to sql table filter i will remove the filter and apply another filter as boot okay now i can see this boot configuration over here so i will select top 1000 rows there is no data the reason because this particular hardware inventory information is not captured hence this information is not present in sql neither in the resource explorer so let's capture this information there are a couple of options we can do it for that we will again go to client setting in the administration pane either i can modify this particular default client setting by going to properties and doing a tick mark or else i can create another client setting i will go to client setting right click create custom client device setting or from the top menu bar i can select this option create custom client device setting so let me select this i will give the name custom hardware inventory if required can give description i will just copy and paste it we'll select hardware inventory and press ok so this particular hardware inventory client setting is created i will right click over here and properties so in the hardware inventory i will go and check the set classes in this this particular boot configuration i will check give a tick mark all the sub components are also having a tick mark i will press ok and ok so the next thing that i need to do is that this particular custom hardware inventory i need to deploy it on the device so for that i will do a right click and deploy i will select all desktop and server clients so the two devices and both will get this setting i will press ok now this particular setting is assigned i will go to device and we'll see the client setting you will see custom hardware inventory is also present along with default client setting so this particular setting is assigned on the device let's run the machine policy cycle so that the setting which is assigned gets deployed we'll go to client notification and download computer policy so let's open the logs to see how it goes we'll go to run double slash host name fccl01 slash c dollar we'll go to windows ccm logs and we'll check for policy agent log over here it shows as new new assignments for machine at few minutes prior and let me scroll a little up and i will see one policy successfully applied applied one policy successfully so a few minutes back this one policy which was assigned and now there is no new assignments so let's run the hardware inventory by going to client notification and running hardware inventory so here we will see inventory agent log also it's not yet updated so we'll pause this particular video and resume after some time because this particular step may take a while so we waited for a while and after that now we come again to this particular client machine and i check inventory agent log and there are a few recent updates which is there and at the end it's showing as action completed so 
there's an update that is done now let's go to resource explorer on this particular device i will go start resource explorer and the option that we are looking for is boot which is available over here now let's see the same thing in the sql earlier we were seeing blank data let me rerun this query execute and we are seeing this information so we are able to get this information into the sql as well as in the resource explorer as this particular client setting is applied now if i want to see that there are multiple client setting which is applied which particular setting is creating an impact for that i will go onto the device monitoring or reporting within reports i will go to hardware general inventory classes enabled on a specific computer if i enter this cl01 host name i will see multiple setting listed now example if i search for logical disk this particular setting was applied through default client setting it's a one word yeah so as we see this particular logical disk client setting is applied through default client agent setting now let us search for boot configuration this boot configuration setting is applied through custom hardware inventory so in this particular report we will understand from where this particular setting is applied and suppose if i need to see other reports like computer with specific amount of memory i can go over here select the value and press ok so it will show this particular device this particular memory so multiple options are there if i want to see a specific disk space then i can go over here hardware disk disk information for a specific computer i can enter the host name so this all information is reviewed based on the hardware inventory information that is collected similarly if i need to see for a particular service then i can go and search for service in the reports service so here we are seeing multiple options in this we can check computers running a specific service and if i enter sms agent by clicking on value i can search sms agent host i click ok view report so these are the devices where sms agent host is present so a lot of information we will be able to retrieve from this particular reports based on the setting that is done in the hardware inventory so that's the key learning let's do a quick recap first thing that we saw is within default client setting how we can configure the hardware inventory what all classes are already enabled the same classes which are enabled how we can see that in the resource explorer as well as how we can see that in the sql then how we can create the another client setting for custom hardware inventory enable another class and review that same class in the resource explorer as well as in sql and then we saw to get information from which particular client setting is applied to the reports by searching for that string we are able to understand which particular client setting is applied then we saw a few more reports like to check what all devices are having x number of memory or running specific service a lot of reports we can go through through the reporting section so that's the key learning that i am sharing for hardware inventory 
if you feel that the content that i am sharing is good then please like and comment because that is encouraging me to come up with more knowledge videos if you are yet to subscribe then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to mecm with this this is yagnesh malavia thanking you for watching this video Thank you.